Hey guys, Chris Green here, and this video is about Chrome Remote Desktop, because if you're watching this video, you're probably doing some online arbitrage, which means you want to see your Chrome extensions on your mobile device, extensions like Keepa, so you can see the Keepa graph, just like on this page, when you scroll down, you want to see this information, but until now, there hasn't really been a great way to get this information on your phone. But there's Chrome Remote Desktop, and I'm going to show you how to set this up. Now, this video does have three parts to it. The first part being how we're going to set this up. And then part two is about how to set it up optimally. And then part three is about a specific device that I use here that I think you guys might be interested in. Uh, so stick around for the whole video to watch that. But if you just want to get it set up and you know how to do the rest, just watch the beginning, and I'll walk you through it. Now, this is an app. You can just search for Google Chrome Remote Desktop and you're gonna find all the links to the iPad app, the iPhone app, the uh, Android app, as well as what you need to install on Chrome. Now, this is an app, not an extension. So when we add it to Chrome, it's gonna say add app, and it's gonna take us to a page, Chrome colon slash slash apps, instead of your extensions page. So we're gonna install this, we're gonna get it set up. You can do remote assistance if you want, uh, but what we're gonna do in this video is my computers, we're gonna access our computer from anywhere. Now the first thing you have to do is enable remote connections. Very likely on your computer this is going to be off by default so we have to enable this. So enable this part. We're going to have to set a pin. Okay so I'm just going to use one, two, three, four, five, six. I wish it was four numbers but they're requiring six. So and I leave this on. I don't care if I can help Chrome with uh, some troubleshooting. So I'm going to enable remote connections for this computer. And here, it's going to want to know our pin. Now it's locked, we have to unlock this. We're going to have to change system preferences. We have to put in our computer password. Pretty secure stuff here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we are going to enable, okay? And you can lock this back to prevent changes. And it says remote connections for this computer have been enabled. Okay, that's what you need to do. Now it's giving me a name down here, Chris with two S's. MVP for MacBook Pro. You can change this to, to whatever you want. Uh, if it helps you remember. So we'll, we'll just call this one Chrome for now. Okay. So that's what you have to do to set it up in your Chrome browser on your Mac or PC. This was a Mac setup. PC might be a little different, but it's going to be pretty similar. And there's going to be a lot of, uh, of help and documentation online if you have trouble setting this part up. Now we're going to set it up on our phone. Okay guys, I've connected my phone so that we can walk through the setup of Chrome Remote Desktop. This is going to be on iPhone. Again, it's a free app download no matter what kind of device you are using. And once you download it, you can open it. Chrome Remote Desktop. We have no computers registered. Now this is the tricky part. This took me a little while to figure out because I use Gmail for a lot of things including ScanPower email, my own personal email, some other Gmail accounts. So I'm often logged into more than one Gmail account at a time. You have to be on the same Gmail account in Chrome on your computer as well as on your phone. So when you see this here, I'm logged in as chris at scampower.com when I set up Chrome Remote Desktop here on my Mac. So when I'm using Chrome Remote Desktop app, I need to make sure that I'm also using chris at scampower.com. Otherwise, it won't work. It'll just look like there's nothing there. So here, if I go up to the top, those three little lines, you see that here it's thinking I'm locomotum at gmail.com. So we are going to change that to make sure we're using chris at scanpower.com. And there you go. My Chrome computer is sitting there waiting for me. So when I tap it, it's going to ask me for my code, which we're going to put in one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to connect. And that's it. Now, of course, this is portrait mode. So let's put it in, uh, in landscape mode. Okay, so here we are in landscape mode on your phone. Now, this is zoomed in. And you can see, if I zoom out a little bit, this is my full screen that I am sharing with you guys uh, because I'm using the same screen to do Chrome Remote Desktop as well as share my screen on my phone. So when I zoom in, remember you guys are watching my phone. This is what I see on my phone. I'm using two finger touch here to zoom in. And I can zoom in right on Chrome. Right in the Chrome browser, I've got all of my extensions. Now, here's a little trick. So here we're getting into uh, part two of the video, the tips of how to, how to use this optimally. Uh, one finger is going to swipe you and kind of browse you around your entire screen. So as I'm using one finger to scroll up and down, I'm actually moving down the whole computer. So I get all the way to the bottom, you see I see the toolbar at the bottom. Way at the top, I see the, uh, all the regular tabs at the top, edit, window, and help. 
Now, if I want to browse around within the Chrome browser, I need to use two finger touch. So I have two fingers on and then I can scroll up. And now I'm scrolling up through the actual window. So if the Keepa graph is below the fold or below the window, then you have to use two fingers to scroll down to it. Now I'm gonna zoom out because I want you guys to see exactly how I set up my browser window is I put Chrome all the way over on one side and I made it very tall and I zoomed out, okay? I did that on purpose so that when I'm on the phone and I wanna just scroll down quickly, I can find everything that I need. And often you're gonna find that the information you need is gonna be just on the same screen. So you're not gonna to have to or, or scroll within the browser, you're just gonna scroll around your desktop and it's so much faster to do it that way. So that's tip number one. All right, guys, and tip number two is what you're looking at right here on my screen, the HP Stream 7-inch Windows tablet, 7 inches. It's super tiny. And you can see up here at the top, I purchased this item earlier this month, and this is what it is. It is small enough to throw in your purse or, or even in your pocket, uh, but what I use it for is to simply leave it at home, plug it in. I turn off all the power save and screen, sh or screen saving mode, so it just stays on all the time and it has Chrome. Now the reason I like this one is because it's small. So Chrome, when this is mirrored on your Chrome remote desktop app on your phone, it's kind of big and chunky if you know what I mean. It's easier to get around than on a full maybe 15 inch desktop where the tabs are gonna be really small by the time you translate and transfer that to a phone screen. So I like this for that. It's 70 bucks. Uh, you might even be able to find some cheaper, but I got this one because it's at least HP, really a name brand. It is refurbished. But for 70 bucks, it's prime uh, through FBA if you have any trouble. Grab one of these, plug it in, and just leave it at home. And that's going to be your go-to Chrome uh, browser that you can access anytime from your mobile device. Now, I will say this isn't a perfect solution because being that it's only 70 bucks, it is kind of slow. Uh, so sometimes it does take a while for the pages to load. And, of course, speed is what matters. But you can do this with any computer. You may have an old laptop or computer sitting around turn it on, leave it there. If you go out sourcing or if you're out and you want to have access to the full Chrome browser with your extensions, then just log in and use that computer. Um, experiment, find something that is fast enough for you. Uh, but for 70 bucks, you really can't go wrong. It's a, it's a useful little device that I use here. I just really just leave it logged in. And then anytime I want to access it from my phone, hop in there and say, yep, give me the seven inch and I can see full extensions, full Keepa, a full browser anytime on my phone. So that's the whole video, guys. The full video on Chrome Remote Desktop. I hope you guys enjoy setting it up. Hopefully you guys don't have too much trouble. Hopefully you saw the stuff that I had trouble with and you're not going to have that same trouble. So make sure you are logged in with the same Gmail account or same Google account on your phone as well as on your Chrome browser. Uh, that's that's the big one. If you get that done, then everything else really should be quite easy. But definitely experiment with setting it up with a narrow window zoomed in a lot. I think you're going to find that's going to load a lot faster, as well as finding an extra device that you can just leave at home, plugged in, take off the screensaver, take off the power save mode, take off all that in the settings, and they'll just always be sitting there ready and waiting for you to access it from your mobile device. Have any questions, get stuck on anything, as always, guys, reach out. I'll be happy to help. Thanks, guys. See ya.